I know you're going to be watching the miniseries George Washington, which is going to be on the air on, here on 1011 on April the 8th, the 10th, and the 11th. Look at this lovely woman. Do you know who this is? This is Rosemary Murphy, tour de force of an actress, and she happens to be playing George Washington's mother. She gets to play everybody's mother. <laughs> Especially president's mothers, yes. right? <laughs> uh, Sarah Roosevelt in Eleanor and Franklin. I know you saw that. And now George Washington's mother. The curious thing, Rosemary, is that really this Mary Bell Washington is portrayed, is featured as a rather negative complaining woman. How did you deal with that as an actress to try to make her acceptable? Well, well yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, it, you, know you, you can only go against the script just so much. I, I, I always think you have to play a little bit against the, if it seems one-dimensional, not that it is totally that, but in the overall script, Mary Ball comes across as a very negative person. So you just have to have m find little moments where she seems positive or sees the bright side, but the lines never speak that way. So you just you have to go with the text. I mean, you can add a dimension, but you can't change it. Well, what you know. would have made uh, a woman at that time negative and complaining? Oh, life being so difficult. I mean, I, I, I have no quarrel with that. I mean, I think she really had a difficult life. I think to be widowed any time with five children would not be easy. But in that time where to have a man in the house really was essential diff in a different way from now. I mean, for protection alone, you, they needed men in those days. I mean, I'm told frequently par people remarried, not at all out of love, but out of, and, or I assuming that there was enough money and that they didn't need the support for protection, uh, because living alone in those uh, houses, you know, where there were Indians not that far away, it's, uh, it was a scary time. I, I think, I'm, I would, I'm fascinated by it, but I think mm. it would have been very difficult oh. to live in those times. I'm very grateful I wasn't born then. And the, f the fact of the matter is that uh, her son, George Washington, didn't get the inheritance that you might have wanted for him. Oh, really? Not. And, I th and as a matter of fact, I, like, you, it, she comes across as a, a chronic complainer in a way, but in fact, uh, her other two sons, uh, they were full grown, and, and they didn't, I mean, she had to support five little kids with a mm -hmm. very small inheritance. Now, we're going to watch a scene right now, and perhaps you'll set this up where your stepson is getting married. Well, she, because she was not in that affluent a situation, she felt very much uh, uh, out of, uh, not a part of that mm -hmm. kind of uh, scene, and was constantly, as I said, disgruntled by she, uh, Frivolous ways were not hers, and so that's the best I can say to lead okay. you into the scene. Let's watch this. Someday, Beth, you'll have a wedding like this, huh? She already has enough fancy notions in her head without you putting one more there. Mama, please, can't we just enjoy the day? Oh, well, oh, Washington's all in one great bunch. What luck. I congratulate you, Mama. Whatever for? Lawrence being your... your... My stepson? Yes, quite. It's all family, ma'am. All family. How are you, Judge? In addition to all the roles that uh, Rosemary Murphy has played, she was on Broadway in Edward Albee's A Delicate Balance. Oh, one of my favorite parts ever. I'm so glad you mentioned that one. But the curious thing, it won the Pulitzer surprise. And there was so much talk at the time that really the year previously, when he had written Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, that that should have won. And Delicate Balance came in on the tail of that. Do you, how do you feel about that? Well, and since I wasn't in um, <laughs> Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, I'm glad that it won the year that I was in the play. But I don't know. I mean, I think Virginia Woolf is a great play. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, Delicate Balance, in a funny way, is a less popular play because it deals with a slightly more esoteric, there's an, a more esoteric feel to the play. But because it's one of the great parts of all time, I'm, of course, very partial to um, the alcoholic sister in that. It was mm -hmm. just a great, great role. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I got to play it. They're calling you. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's coming. start time. It's start time. Uh, also, we found out that you were Patty Duke Aston's mother-in-law in, in the film that was shot up in Duluth, oh, Minnesota. Oh, yes. Yes. This is my third time. To, I was her actual mother in a TV movie, and then that was the first one. You'll like my mother with Richard uh, Thomas before he, before he did... Um, the Waltons? Yes. I mean, uh, uh, oh, that was a great experience. Do you remember yeah. that house up there in Duluth? It was the sixth character in the movie. I certainly do. Glorious Do you know house. what happened to that house? I heard. I mean, I just think it's so appalling that, that yes, I heard the woman was murdered. Yes, the old woman. And the did they ever solve the murder? That's it's what I don't still know. still going. How, how many years ago was that? 
Well, we filmed it in 72, so That's it was right. about five years later, about I 12, think, that yeah, it about happened. About 12 years. But uh, people thought it might be like a, a, a son-in-law of hers or some strange uh, family connection, but they never did solve it's it, I don't think. It's not resolved at this particular point, but that I house is so I keep forgetting to ask Patty about that, because I'm... Um, Yes, and you're the mother in a new CBS series called Kate and Allie. <laughs> oh my goodness, the mother. Well, listen, I just don't want it to stop. Oh, no, <laughs> keep it going. I don't care whose mother it is. As long as I keep wonderful working. actress. Oh, thank you. Emmy Award winning. Thank you very much. A real pleasure. We'll thank be watching you. for her in George Washington, which is airing April 8th, 10th, and 11th here on 1011 Strong. Rosemary Murphy, thank you.